Hey there guys, Chet here. If you use Dropbox to store your important files, what if you could automatically save attachments or reports there without ever having to drag and drop? Connecting Dropbox to N8N makes that possible, and I'm going to show you exactly how to set up that connection today. First, before we can do anything inside of N8N, we need to head over to Dropbox and create a developer app. Now this sounds technical, but it's really just Dropbox's way of letting us create a secure connection that N8N can use to manage our files. To get started, go to www.dropbox.com slash developers slash apps. Once you're there, you will see a blue button that says create app. Let's go ahead and click that button. Now, Dropbox will ask a few questions to configure our new app. The first choice is which API to use. We're going to choose the scoped access option. This is a great choice because it gives us fine grained control over what our N8N connection is really allowed to do. Next, we have to choose the type of access that we need. You can either give access to a single app folder or to your full Dropbox. Now for this tutorial, we will choose full Dropbox. Finally, we need to give our app a unique name. I'm gonna call mine N8N File Manager. Once you've named your app, click the Create App button. After creating the app, Dropbox will take you to its settings page. This page has a lot of options, but we only need one thing from here. We need to generate our access token, which is the secret key that N8N will use. Scroll down this page just a little bit until you, right there, you see the section called Generated Access Token. Underneath that, there is a Generate button. Click that button and Dropbox will instantly create a long string of characters. This is your access token. Go ahead and copy this token because we're about to use it in N8N. With our secret key from Dropbox copied, let's head over to N8N to put it to use. In my N8N account, I'm going to click the Create Workflow button to start a new workflow. I'll add a manual trigger just to get things started. Then I'll click the plus button again to add our Dropbox node. In the search bar, I'll type Dropbox and then click on it. It will then ask what action we want to perform. For this example, let's just choose the copy a file action. This will bring us to the connection settings page for the Dropbox node. This is where we will finally connect our two accounts. Under the field that says credential to connect with, click the drop down menu and choose create a new credential. A new window will pop up. You will see two ways to connect, OAuth2 and access token. Since we just generated an access token, that's the direct method that we'll use. Select the access token option. Now you'll see a field that says access token. This is where you paste the token that we copied from the Dropbox app page just a moment ago. Paste it in and then click the save button. And just like that, the window will close and your new credential will be selected. You've now just successfully and securely connected your N8N account with Dropbox. <laughs> Super fast, right? All right, that's it for this video. Now listen, if you found this useful, I go way deeper inside of my school community. I built a complete N8N course where you'll learn how to go from beginner to building advanced systems, plus live calls and exclusive templates that you won't find anywhere else. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.